This month will mark three years since a gunman opened fire at the Tree of Life Synagogue, killing 11 people. And today in federal court, Robert Bauer's defense sought to keep a future jury from hearing the anti-Semitic statements he allegedly made during that attack. Today is the first of what's expected to be a two-day hearing. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan joins us live with testimony from police officers who were inside the synagogue when Bowers surrendered. Andy. Kim Bowers is accused of a federal hate crime and a conviction could result in the death penalty. That's why his defense team wants to suppress these statements to save his life. Entering the Tree of Life Synagogue, Pittsburgh SWAT officer Steve Meskin testified he encountered bodies that were unrecognizable and carnage, quote, like nothing I've ever seen. On the third floor, he can be heard on this 911 tape encountering the gunman. And when Robert Bowers crawled to his surrender, Meskin and fellow officer Clint Timmons testified. Bowers said, all these Jews must die. 7 one uh, suspects talking about uh, all these Jews need to die. Um, we're still communicating with them. Judy, any, any uh, strategy in terms of suppression here? In court, defense attorney Judy Clark and her team want to prevent a jury from hearing that tape and any testimony related to the gunman making anti-Semitic statements and questioned Meskin on whether he had coerced Bowers into making them, rendering them inadmissible. Defense, was it in response to a question? Meskin, no ma'am, it was a spontaneous utterance of Mr. Bowers. Anticipating the defense attack, the prosecution asked Meskin whether Bowers had been advised of his rights before making those statements to which Meskin replied, absolutely not, saying the officers were still in danger, fearing Bowers might have explosives on him and not knowing if there was another gunman in the building. Quote, given the chaos of the situation and us being human beings prone to mistakes, we wanted to be 100% sure the scene was safe. Do you believe that this testimony ought to be presented in court, these anti-Semitic comments that you I, I have no comments on how the prosecution is conducting its case. Now, there is overwhelming evidence that Robert Bowers killed 11 people at the Tree of Life Synagogue in October 2018. What the defense is fighting is, are these hate crime charges which carry the death penalty. Their objective is to get, get him life imprisonment and prevent him from dying uh, with the death penalty. Reporting live at the federal courthouse downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.